The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIG and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. We are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we'll take a look at the multi-story garden, which is a simple technology used to grow vegetables and fruits for household use or for commercial purposes. To establish the multi-story garden, you need a net. Alternatively, you can use a polythene tube, sack or plastic containers. You also require soil mixed with manure on a ratio of 1 to 1, ballast, a shovel, a 2 kg tin, seedlings, and a cutting tool. So when you are starting to construct, you've already identified the, the space where you want to construct. You will hold your mile story with it twice from side to side using your hands, and then you, fall, you bring it together to, uh, at one point, and then you turn it upside down because it's a net, and then you put it at the selected place where you are, you are sight, you've sighted, put it at the center. Once you've put it at the center, get the soil and manure mixture, which you've mixed at a ratio of one to one, you pour on, on the net and level it very well so that it firms the net, it holds it in place. Once the net has been held in place, get your 2 kg tin, which, you've, which, is, the, which is hollow. That is, you remove the lower part and the upper part, obviously, it should not have a lid, so that, that when you put there stones, it can pass through. So you get that 2 kg tin, put at the center of the net, and then you put ballast inside there. You can cover the ballast so that the soil doesn't get inside the ballast. So once you put the ballast and you've covered with maybe a polythene or something, anything, even if it's a cloth, to avoid the soil from getting into the ballast because that will be your channel for watering. Put soil around the tin. When the soil reaches the height of the tin, you shake it a bit and then move it up, leaving the ballast down. So once you move it up, the, the tin will be empty again. Put more ballast in the tin. And then after you've put more ballast in the tin, you put soil around the tin again until it reaches the top of the tin and then you shake the ballast again and then you move it up. And then you feed the tin with more ballast again because it will now be empty. So you will repeat this process several times until you reach the top of the mulch story. So 
once you reach the top of the the net, you will put the you will move the the tin up a bit from the soil, add more ballast, and then you leave the tin there for watering purposes. After you've finished constructing your mulch storing, you, the ballast has come from down. That will be your watering channel, so you'll be pouring water through that 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 ballast or that tin where you've left the ballast. You pour water through there, and then after you've poured you, when you pour water. Because you've planted some few crops on, on the top and the ballast has gone down, you will also water from the top, just a little water from the top for the crops that are on the top. Once you've made the mulch story and the ballast, you also make a bed around the mulch story so that the water that gets from through the mulch story will not go to waste. You will plant some vegetables around the mulch story, around two lines of vegetables around the mulch story. So once the mulch story is, is now standing and ready, and you've made the bed around the mulch story, you will water the mulch story well. You water it well, and then we encourage you plant it the following day, so that you leave the mulch story to settle for some time, so that if it sinks down a bit, you'll, when you come the following day, you will add more soil that has the mixture of soil and manure, and then you can you'll water again, and then you do your planting. For the net, the planting spaces are already put there. Because you've already watered the mulch story, you will get something to help you make the holes for the, for the seedlings. So once you make the holes, you make the holes at an angle of 45 degrees down. The way a crop grows, the way you make it. So you make it at 45 degrees down. After you've made it at 45 degrees down, you put your seedling in the hole, and then you get soil with the same stick. You just put the stick in the in the hole but up you are putting it from up and then you you bring the soil to the to the seedling so that the soil can now stand firm and then the top also you will plant at the same spacing of 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and the bottom where you put the base you will also plant at 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and once you, you you've done that you can decide to plant variety on that mulch story or you can plant one variety or two varieties depending on the vegetables that you like. The top is very good for planting root crops. So if you have some root crops you want to plant, like the carrots, even cabbages, if it's a big mild story, you can plant some cabbages. And also down the base, you can also plant some root crops that you feel you want to plant. They can be the carrots, they can be the beetroots, and you can plant also the brassicas, those ones that form the head, because they cannot be on the side. So you can plant the cabbages on the side also. And you can also incorporate some spices when you are planting your mulch story to help in pest control. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is, you know, see something and implement. This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes. From this tutorial, it is our hope that you will establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke.